This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, March the 20th, 2019. Today is St. Cuthbert's Day. He was a monk and later a bishop of Northumbria in the south of modern-day Scotland. As a hermit, his life wasn't particularly interesting. Even as a bishop, there's little for us to get excited about. He was a loyal advisor to the king. He was dutiful and humble. He was everything you'd want from a bishop in 7th century England. He retired to what is known as St. Cuthbert's Cave, and he died today in 687. He was buried in Durham Cathedral, and that's where things become interesting. Miracles and more miracles started happening around his tomb, and people started traveling from the south and, interestingly, across the water to visit the Durham Cathedral until St. Cuthbert, the hermit monk turned bishop, became one of the most important saints of the 8th century. It's the birthday of the Roman poet Ovid. Born 43 BC, he was alive during the rise of Augustus as princeps and first emperor of Rome. Ovid, Virgil, and Horace are the three great poets of Rome, and they all lived at the same time as the founding of the Roman Empire. Their poetry is genuinely remarkable. Most of us know of Virgil's epic poem, the Aeneid, the story of the Trojan warrior who travels to Italy and becomes the ancestor of the Roman people. Horace is less well known because his poetry is lyrical, meant to play with the words of the supple Latin language. His most famous work is entitled The Odes. Ovid's great work was The Metamorphoses. Now, this is an epic poem in sections based upon Roman mythology, which makes it a lot easier for us to get a little bit of a handle on, even if we can't read the poetry of the Latin language. Ovid's work is masterful and emotional and romantic. What makes Latin poetry interesting is that word order just doesn't matter very much in Latin. And in Latin, almost every word in the sentence has a changeable ending, depending on whether it's a direct object or a verb or an adjective or what have you. That makes rhyming, at least rhyming on the ends of words, fairly uninteresting as a poetic tool. So Latin poetry tends to depend upon rhythm and meter and cleverness of word choice more than upon simple rhymes. Sadly, as with most poetry, English translations just can't communicate that. Accessible or not, Ovid was one of the great poets in Roman history, at a moment known for great poetry and great poets, which is a real accomplishment. He died in AD 17 and remembered today as one of the three canonical poets of Rome. Also celebrating his birthday today is Big Bird. Well, not celebrating it because, you know, he's fictitious. But Big Bird is one of the central characters of Sesame Street and has been since 1969. Carol Spinney voiced the eight-foot-tall bird until his death in 2018. Matt Vogel, who has worn the suit since 1998, took over for him then and continues today to be the puppeteer and the voice of Big Bird. And while other characters have had various moments taken center stage, Big Bird's wide eyes and sense of wonder have been and probably will always be a staple of the Sesame Street experience. Big Bird shares his birthday with the very real psychological and philosophical writer B.F. Skinner, born today in 1904. Skinner was famous for his work in behavioral analysis, comparable to the work done by Ivan Pavlov with operant conditioning. Now, I don't know what Snuffleupagus or Elmo would say about Big Bird sharing his birthday with Dr. Skinner, but I can imagine Dr. Skinner's answer would be quite complex, including lots of big words, and given that Dr. Skinner wrote some 31 books, it would probably be long. Big Bird's answer, I imagine, would be short and simple, and include how special it is. Dr. Skinner died in 1990, but he was born today in 1904. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.